Hello, gonna be playing the five games, hopefully, I can get through all of them, that I did not play last time. And that is because I was tired, I was hungry, I had work tomorrow, uh, and I was a little... Uh, I was a little kind of worn out from all the scariness. It says the audios, the audio stream's current bit rate is zero. Just lower than recommended. <laughs> this one I thought looked really cool. It's called Map Friend. I liked the aesthetic of this game. It reminds me of uh, using the computer growing up and stuff, playing 3D mini golf and whatnot. Drop your little friend right here. <laughs> Click on a location to go there. Exploring is fun with Map Friend. Westwater View is a parking spot that provides camping amenities to visitors of Lake Westwater. Camping amenities are limited, but the day fee is very cheap at just $3 a day. Drag Map Friend. Get a better view of what's going on here. Huh, spooky. Willow Forest. Address may not be accurate. 5. Willow Forest. I put this relatively unknown forest on number 5. Willow Forest is actually really beautiful in spring. It's not super big, but it's worth the excursion, especially the views on Westwater Lake are great from here. I go with my family every now and then, so be sure to let me know if you're going. Oh. Do you know you found... It's fine, I didn't really want to know what that was anyway. Um, I feel like my my brain and knowledge is expanding. Where? Five five Willow Beach Road. Willow Beach is located on the shores of Lake Westwater, the closest town to Westwater Township. As of 2004 census, uh, its population was 567 and contained 280 housing units. The town is most known for the infamous Peterburg airstrip. Where the? Where the? Oh, where to go? Come here. Come here, Mr. Explorer. Did I miss one at the previous location, maybe? If I click on this again... There's no Explorer Orb. Huh, one second. I'm looking up a guide. <laughs> Sorry, I know you guys can't see this. It's probably not very interesting. Played lists. And that's where the guide stops. <laughs> I found where I was, what I was looking for, though. No info on the, on this location. Maybe something is wrong. I think you're looking for somewhere else. Take that. We're gonna ignore that. We can go someplace new. Sorry, that took a little bit of time. No. Oh, it doesn't matter what I take. At care DZ? What is DZ? Is it on the moon? Nothing. Where is the. Okay. The N6 runs between the North Africa, bordered by the Mediterranean Sea in the North and West Africa, bordered by the Atlantic Ocean in the South. Stop! Stop, stop! Stop moving the. Pit. Stop moving it, I can't read it! You seem to be in an area with not a lot of data. Are you sure you're looking right? You took me here. Don't play me, map friend. Some friend you are. Interesting. Location missing. Sorry, map friend can't help you with this location. It's just a I'm just a co-pilot. No accountability for map friend. You wanna look at the fourth one here. Right here. It was a pleasure flying with you. Are you dying? We're going to these coordinates. The 
crosswinds were steady at 20 knots. Now it's 30 knots. You couldn't have known, Captain. itself. What the hell just happened? Is that really the it? Is that really it? That's literally it? Uh, well, that one was, uh, <laughs> I, I guess that's, I guess that's it. The next one is called Salvation. I don't remember what this one is about. God, this place gives me the creeps. Never making a documentary like this again. Focus, Tom. Focus. Just get the proof and get out. One more scene. Come on. Ooh. Are we back up? Yeah. Gotta love it. Gotta love technology. Salvation. We're playing Salvation. THX. Enjoy the movie. We are back, baby. Whoa. Sorry, I hope no one is in a dark room. Holy moly. Can I turn the freaking bloom down? Walking in anything is like a flashbang. Sure, hope nothing bad happens to me in this house. Oh. It's like I'm in a little art gallery. Great. The long necked woman. Come the fuck on. Huh? Wait a second, that one's downstairs. It's just counterfeit art. Oh! Okay. <laughs> Stop it. No. Don't do it. <laughs> this is so dumb. Great. Sorry, that one was. That I did not like that one. That one was kind of doo doo. Let me just delete that off my computer. <laughs> this one. This next one's the Crypt Terror, third of May, thirteen thirty-six. I think this is a short one, from what I remember. Three weeks ago, a curse was bestowed upon the town of Sherdorn. Livestock killed, crops de desiccated, madness grew. Mm -hmm. Shrieks and chants that were heard from the town's four corn catacomb. Many believed that to be the source of the town's curse. And now, by the Lord's order, it is your turn to venture down. Sounds lovely. Farewell. Bye! May you rid us of this evil. One might wonder why they built it so far underground. Hello? Alright, remember, you have to stick to the right wall. This principle has not changed since I last year. See, we are already making lots of progress. This looks like less of a maze. Ah, let there be light. Kind of. No, not at all, really. 
Door one, two, or three. What's it gonna be? Do we do the whip door, the nay nay door, or to hit the quan door? Two. Okay. Two it is. Two bits. You picked wrong. We're just gonna forego doing door one. run out. Oh, that door noise is the worst. Hello? Hello down there? This is creepy. I think I like this one a little bit more than the tunnel. Oh no, something's gonna scare me right here, isn't it? <laughs> I'm looking down. Oh no. I'm, huh? I can't move. I just admire sun. <laughs> I don't want to turn around. No, please don't make me turn around. Okay. <laughs> up the good work. Okay, so this is the three doors, and there's blood under this one. I didn't open there. Hello? This might be different. <laughs> That's it. That was a good one. That was a good one. The graphics quality are smile, smile with a nose, and evil smile with a nose. Greeting, Stephen. is I, your Uncle Panko. I hope you are well. Your parents tell me that you are soon to graduate. A fine achievement indeed, Quentin. It feels like just yesterday you could barely walk and talk, and now you're almost fully grown. How time flies. I would like to invite you to spend the summer here with me. It would be nice to have some help, and we could make up for all the lost time. He said. He said, follow the dirt path. Follow the dirt path. Don't forget it. Uncle Panko. Oh, I missed you. Mwah. Michael, my boy, I'm glad you decided to visit. Unfortunately, something unexpected came up, and I'll be gone for the first few days of your stay. Would you mind doing some work around the farm until I return? I know it's a lot to ask since you'll be all by yourself, but if anyone can handle it, you can, Robert. I've left a few more instructions around the house to help you, and I'll take on a majority of the work again once I get back. The key to the front door is located under the little goblin on the porch, and your room is on the second floor. Make yourself at home. Uncle Panko. Thank you, little goblin. Ooh. So go playing the piano. Here's my room. Dang, Uncle Panko treating me nice. Oh, the bathroom. That is a foul shower curtain. Dearest nephew, apologies, but I forgot to mention something important. Life out in the wilderness can be a bit rougher than life in the suburbs, especially at night. Not all the time, but enough that 
some caution is warranted. So before the sun fully sets each day, I need you to go inside the house and remain there until it rises again. Today is specifically, you'll need to make sure to shut and lock the back and front doors in that order. Back, then front. Going to bed as well. Or before going to bed as well. Uncle Panko. Time to sleep, sleep, sleep. You. What'd you do to my uncle? Rodney, it seems you may have made a mistake during your nightly routine. That is alright, nobody's perfect. Unfortunately, that means that one of them got inside the house. This is fixable, but you need to follow these instructions exactly as if I've written them. What did I, what did I do? These stairs feel really long now. Let me in, let me in, let me in. Whoa. Good morning. Good morning, crusty crew. The cows. No! Wait. Go back! Oh no. No, one of them got away. Come back! Uh, I can't close that. The rest of them are gonna run away too. Please. Don't run! Come on. What? Yippee! Mogi, if you're reading this, you're probably doing well. I'm very proud. Besides caring for the livestock, I'd like you to harvest some of my crops today. The purple stuff, to be specific. Grab the sickle next to the gate and get started whenever you're ready. Make sure to keep an eye on your surroundings while you're harvesting. The field is small, it's more like a patch than anything else, but some little rascals still tend to hide in there when the crops are at their tallest. Don't worry too much about it, just stay on your toes and you'll do fine. Uncle Panko. Huh. What? Where'd the music go? So I like how the sickle stretches. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. 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 Wait. What? Did the day restart? No. Wait. Oh, I see. Get back in there, you rascal. Christophil, thank you again for doing all this while I'm gone. I promise you won't have to spend your whole summer here just doing work around the farm. Why don't you herd the cows back to the barn and take the rest of the day off? Time to go back in. Time to go back in now. Rise and shine, today you're going to meet my chickens, or rather, my chickens' eggs. They should have laid a good amount of them by now, and I'd like you to go out into the coop and gather them. Hello. I see you. Stop it. My boy. Oh. Anyway, I think you've done everything important. I think I missed some dialogue. I think you've done everything important for now, I think. <laughs> Feel free to spend the rest of the day as you wish. Just head to bed whenever you get tired. Don't touch these eggs. Do you understand? Huh? 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 Close the door. Close the door. 
nephew, I think I forgot to mention something I've never forgotten before. That goblin that you took the house key from when you first arrived, there's a non-zero chance that it might have been replaced by a gnome. And if you took the key from it, you will have effectively invited it into the house to stay. I won't sugarcoat it. You're in serious trouble. By the time you finish reading this note, I reckon you'll have about one minute to find the gnome in the house and take give it back before its owner gets inside to take it. Once you find it, just open the front door and throw it outside, literally. Just throw the thing out. Uncle Panko. What the fuck? Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. scary by yourself notes chores weird creatures from the fields in the forest well, i am certain i only sent you one letter and one note on the front door before you arrived you must have had a nightmare of some kind and i don't blame you it can be a little scary out here sometimes especially on your own well you won't have to worry about that anymore how about i make us breakfast and then i'll give you the grand tour of the property i hope you're ready for summer fun Multiple endings? Huh. Well, that was cute. 